Hello and welcome to the training session on learning about the nappy change procedure in early learning education. Thank you so much for coming to this training. I really do appreciate it. My name is Catherine Foster and I'm the early childhood teacher and educational leader here at Sparks. I've had about 17 years experience in early childhood education. I've taught in primary schools across the Pilbara and the Southwest. And this is my sixth month at Sparks Early Learning. And so far, I've really, really enjoyed my time here. And together we have achieved a lot of things. So I'm really happy to be here. And I hope that you get a lot out of this training session. So I have provided you with the Sparks policy on nappy changes that I gave to you last week. So you've had a good look at that. So we're going to be referring to that handout across this training session. The outcomes of this training session are, by the end of the session, you will be able to understand the Centre's nappy change policy and how it fits into the national quality standards. Follow the correct procedure of a nappy change. Learn how to hygienically change a nappy in an early learning centre and how to keep the change area hygienic and safe for each child in our care. And lastly, document and record the correct details for the communication to your room leader as well as the parents and caregivers. Now, before we start, some, I want to give you some information to start you thinking about the use of disposable nappies in our world in 2020. Too. Uh, if you think about personally how many nappies you have changed over the course of your lifetime, the following information might be a little bit alarming. So, in 1956, only 1% 1 of parents use disposable nappies. Today, over 95% of parents use disposable nappies. Over 18 billion nappies are thrown into landfill each year. The plastic used on one disposable nappy can take approximately 300 years to break down in landfill. And lastly, by the time a child is toilet trained, a baby could have used four to 6,000 disposable nappies. It really does make you think about the cost of disposable nappies to our environment. But in saying that, the use of disposable nappies is strongly encouraged in an education and care service. Why do you think? Because disposable nappies are less likely to spread germs into the environment because they are less prone to leaking than cloth nappies and can be disposed of immediately. So it's something to really reflect on about what we can do to help the environment, but also keep the safety of ourselves and the children as our top priority. So how does the nappy change procedure we have at Sparks link to the national quality standards? If you refer to the handout, Quality Area 2, so I'll show you the handout, you can see that the nappy change procedure is embedded into the Quality Area 2 of the NQS. The aim of Quality Area 2 under the National Quality Standards is to safeguard and promote children's health and safety, minimise risks and protect children from harm, injury and infection. All children have the right to experience quality education and care in an environment that provides for their physical and psychological well-being and provides support for each child's growing competence, confidence and independence. So under the standard 2.1, which is each child's health and physical activity is supported and promoted, you can see that in element 2.1.2, health practices and procedures, effective illness and injury management, 
and hygiene practices are promoted and implemented. So you can see how important that following the correct nappy change procedure is when it's linked to the national quality standards that every single centre in Australia follows. It ensures that the children in our centre and across Australia are safe. So when we have a look at this, we can see if we now look at our own policy and procedure, nappy changing policy, and you've got your hand out there, we can see how this is directly linked to the national quality standards. And we're going to be going through this nappy changing policy in detail shortly. But what we can see is that the policy statement is directly linked to the national quality standards. The policy states that the centre is to provide hygienic procedures for changing nappies. We are to provide a clean environment to prevent the spread of diseases and infections and staff are to assist the children and use the correct techniques for nappy changes at all times. It's also really important to note that the risk of spread of bodily fluids and other communicable diseases is increased when an educator changes a child's nappy. For this reason, we must protect ourselves and the child from the risk of infection. It's also important to note that the nappy change ritual in an early learning centre is a really great way to bond with the child. You can sing to the child, talk to the child, smile and interact with the child as you're changing the nappy, their nappy. And it's a great way to build that trust and security, which is also part of quality area two in the national quality standards. The well-being of the child is at the forefront of what we do in an early learning centre. Now, if you want to keep the nappy changing policy in front of you, we will now go over in detail how to change a child's nappy. I would also like to refer you to this handout, and this is a poster that is always mounted on the wall in our nappy change area at Sparks Early Learning. And it has picture, a picture guide and a step-by-step -step guide as to how to change a nappy correctly in our centre. So this is always mounted in the nappy change area. And you've also got a copy in your handouts. Okay. If you would like to follow along with the PowerPoint presentation, let's go through the nappy change procedure. Now, the first thing that we need to do is wash our hands using the correct hand washing procedure, which is also a policy at Sparks Early Learning. And just to remind you, you can find all the policies and procedures we have at Sparks in the white file in Chris's office, and you can access them anytime to refresh yourself or check on something that you are unsure of. So we're going to wash our hands correctly. In the nappy change area, we then need to spray the table and the mat with warm soapy water and wipe with a paper towel and place the paper towel in the bin. The warm soapy water is located on the shelf, um, on the nappy change, in the nappy change area, and it's filled up each, at the start of each day, so it's there ready for you. Next step is to ensure that you have all the materials you need right next to you, ready for you when you're changing the child. This includes the correct nappies, wipes, 
gloves, cloths and cream. Now, each child's nappy is located in the shelf next to the nappy change area and they are all clearly marked with each child's name on it. The wipes are for communal use and they are always placed next to the mat change mat. The gloves are mounted onto the wall and the blue cloths are in a basket on the shelf as well. So they are all ready and waiting for you to use at each nappy change. It's also important to note that we only use blue cloths to wipe down the change table and the bench top. And these blue cloths are placed directly into the tub under the sink as soon as you've used them. The next step is to put disposable gloves on, which as I've said, are mounted onto the wall in the nappy change area. We then lift the child onto the change mat using the correct lifting techniques, which is also another policy and procedure in the wipe file that you can always access to refresh yourself on. So we remove the child's nappy and fold inwards, putting the nappy in the bin as soon as you've removed it. We then clean the child's skin with the nappy wipes. We place in the bin immediately after use. We use the skincare products if requested by the caregivers and all the skincare products are found on the shelf above the nappy change area and they are clearly marked with each child's name. We remove the disposable gloves and put them in the bin. We then put the clean nappy on the child. We then clean the nappy change area with warm soapy water from the spray bottle and the blue cloth. And as I said, the blue cloths are always placed in the tub under the sink. These blue cloths are washed separately from other items to ensure that no cross-contamination happens. We wash the child's hands and your hands with warm soapy water and dry with a paper towel and then dispose of the paper towel. If the child is six months or under, you can use a baby wipe to wipe down their hands. Once you're back in the baby room, you need to document the nappy change on the whiteboard. Now, we need to document the time of the nappy change and if the, the nappy was soiled, wet or dry. We can use shorthand S, W or D to document this as a time-saving measure. It's also really important to note any health notes for the caregivers. If you were concerned about anything, you discuss with your room leader and you can also ask the room leader and they, will, in the, under their discretion, will call the parents. For example, if there's terrible nappy rash that is making the child uncomfortable, that's a note that you need to share with your room leader to let the parents know. Or any other concern, like they have an upset stomach or were very unsettled. They are examples of information that is necessary to, necessary to share with your room leader. Some of this information is private, so it's up to the room leader to actually make the decision to write on the whiteboard in the room or just take a private note to share with the parents. So that is the nappy change procedure. We have it sparks. You can see that it is, again, 
really important to follow this procedure correctly. So the well-being, the safety and of ourselves and the child is at our first priority. Thank you again for coming to this training session. I really appreciate your time and I really hope that you've gotten a lot out of this training session. We will now, I'll now answer any questions that you have and clarify anything that you need. Thank you again.